First time this postseason they've been trailing in the series. Felt like the first time they really got punched in the mouth, right? And and guess what? It's going to happen. <laughs> guess what? There's going to be a lot of punches in the mouths in both directions in this one. Yeah, this series wasn't going to be easy. We all knew that going in. Winning at Madison Square Garden is hard. Darn near impossible if you don't get at least equal play to your opponent in, in two categories. Special teams and goaltending. You better win your power play. You better find a way to penalty kill. And you better have a goaltender that, especially when someone like like Igor plays a little bit uh, non-elite, that, that can match that. Not, you know, it's a good way to put it, right? How, how Dennis just did, right? You knew. We, we knew this going in. We knew this going in. Right? There's no way you can expect to play with a team like the Rangers without doing something on power play, especially with five opportunities. And you may be thinking, like, oh, did they not do uh, as well as they have been doing? Were they not elite? Were they not breaking the franchise record? No, they went 0 for 5. And then on the other side, their penalty kill gave up two goals and two opportunities. That's not easy to overcome. And not even, you know, to focus on the 0 for 5 on power plays, right, when they have the advantage, it wasn't just 0 for 5. It was kind of the lack of real chances. It's not like they they were peppering the goal with high leverage chances and and Shesterkin was, was standing on his head or something like that. It was, again, something that we've seen in the past, a little precious. Right, a little waiting for the absolute perfect opportunity to attack rather than forcing the issue and seeing what happens. Rod Brindamore, post game on special teams being the difference. You know, a couple you know, kills we didn't quite execute, right? And they, they did. They did you know, they went made their three quick passes and hit it and we, we were just a step off and that's the difference. So it's tough because we played pretty hard and I thought overall as actually the game gone on, we were we got a little better. That's the difference. I would say definitely as the game went along, you got better. The problem was you dug yourself a little bit of a hole, and, and you couldn't quite get yourself all the way out of it. Kind of a deep one. Yeah. <laughs> Crater somewhere, I might call it a well of some kind that you were trying to dig yourself out of. More on the, uh, the special teams battle. Here's Tony D'Angelo. That's one game. They, they did a nice job. They executed two real nice plays. Uh, I thought we did a pretty good job on our power play. There was just, you know, it didn't go in tonight. So that's why you play seven games. That's the way a player should should think about it, right? It's not it's like hey, you beat us in the first. We're never going to be able to win. No, it's, you, it's why you play seven games. Uh, there's almost two like two issues there, though. The penalty kill, I mean, quick, right? It, it, it wasn't. The 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 uh, holes in the boat were found very quickly in the the penalty kill, right? It, it's not a a oh right at the end right before it expires you let your foot off the gas. The the Rangers found a way to score quickly on your penalty kill. That can't happen. That's almost more demoralizing when it's like, all right, you hit the box. All right, come out of the box. You gave up the goal. It's like I I barely even got to sit down. What what is going on here? You didn't even get a chance to drink some water. What? You're not going to be able to to win with that being your penalty kill and that being your power play. But we knew that you knew going into the game you weren't going to be able to just uh, you know push around the the Rangers. That was when we did cons and cons last hurricanes and cons last week. What was my concern? PK penalty kill. Yep. Because I didn't think it was that good against the Islanders. It was only what seventy two percent, seventy three percent against the Islanders, who have one of the <laughs> worst power plays in the entire league. Oh, now you got to go against the third best with all those stars mm-hmm. that they have on their team. You don't want to be taking penalties, especially on the road. Sure enough, it burned you twice. If you look at the zero for five on the power play and the zero for two on the penalty kill, you're zero for seven on the special team yesterday. Zero for seven, and you still only lost by one. If you're 0 for 7 on a that's yeah, losing by one is the key there. But if you're 0 for 7 against the Islanders, I would be I would be concerned. I'd be going, I don't know if you I don't think you win that game. Right? And, and that's yeah, but against what, the Islanders, you're since you're, you can get away with it. You can get away with it. Even that, I mean, 0 for 7? <laughs> that's that's pretty rough. Uh and then Freddie didn't have a great game. 
Freddie didn't have a great game. I, I wouldn't say uh, Shesterkin had his best game, but he was better than Freddie-ish. When Igor has a not elite game, you can't let that still be an advantage for the Rangers. When he has a not elite game, you have to at least match it. The final goal by Freddie, weak one, right? A little softy. And that one was was the backbreaker, right? That was the one that was like, oh, so you had crawled all the way back. You had gotten it there. It's going to be very difficult to win in Madison Square Garden against the Rangers if you don't have a better showing in those two very key areas. Your special teams have to be better. Your goaltending has to be better. Are there other things we can nitpick? Yes. Face-off. Uh, again, became a, a thing that, that they didn't win at the level you'd like, although they were above 50%, but still certain uh, situations they weren't as good. The, the the two power play goals, you lost the face-offs clean. That's the thing. You can't lose face-offs clean on a PK. Just can't. <laughs> uh, badly timed penalties. Uh, enter Mr. Svechnikov into the conversation. Like There, there were things to nitpick, but from a 20,000 feet big picture angle, I mean, 0 for 7 on the special teams. Giving them up quick on penalty kill. Not getting the amount of of pure chances and high leverage chances that you'd expect in the power play. And then goaltending. If if you do that, you know, game one is what game one is. The the good news is what you heard from D'Angelo, right? Because it happened in game one doesn't mean it has to happen in game two. There are things you can change. You can come back better. You're going to play next game, and, and you don't start at a deficit at 0-0. Now, I would say don't, you know, start faster. And, and what I mean by that is get locked in earlier. Uh, there, There's a part of me that thinks this Canes team has a little bit of Seabiscuit in them. Right? The legendary Seabiscuit uh, movie motivation where you have to let Seabiscuit fall behind in a horse race. By the way, shout out to Mystic Dan of uh, the the Kentucky Derby. What a finish there! Uh, but the legendary kind of made for movie element of Sea Biscuit is you got to let him fall behind early so he gets motivated and takes off, and and then he never loses. The Canes feel like they have a little bit of that. They don't play their best hockey until they taste their own blood. If you look in round one, when did they play their best hockey? The second and third periods in game two, mm-hmm. which is when they they. We're down 0 3-0 at the beginning of game two. And then in game five, they played their best hockey. What happened right before that? They lost game four. This Canes team feels like they might have to taste their own blood a little bit before they fight back to the best of their ability. I hope that's not the case because it's really frustrating to have to go, go down a bunch before they, they wake up. I thought when Slavin scored the, the answer, right, that that first one, was, ooh, what's going on here? Slavin hit the answer. I was like, all right, we're back. Now, now yeah. go play great hockey. So it was a minute, two seconds, like, pfft, Canes, here we go. Yeah, exactly. Ended up being a little bit more difficult than that. <laughs> Ended up not being the, oh, they woke up, right? So can you chalk it up to a break? Maybe. I mean, the Rangers had a longer break. Maybe the Canes just need to get in rhythm. We'll see. Game two tomorrow, you can hear it right here on 99.9 The Fan.